Kyle Humber's coming into this game undefeated. George Brown is 2-0-3. Oh, Who are some players that Humber's going to have to look out for here today on the Huskies? Well, they're going to have to watch out for star striker Felipe Vilela. He'll, he has nine goals on the season, who, which leads his team. Next behind him, Shaquille Agard only has two. You can check here the standings for Humber, like you mentioned. 4-0 record for the Hawks. And this is a big game, George Brown right behind them. Yeah, sitting atop the Central Division. And of course, if we look at the head-to-head, -head, get a better look at Humber with Great goals for, goals against. We saw one of those come here at home against the UTM Eagles. The goals against is pretty even, so George Brown's got good defense. Should be a good defensive, defensively tight game. But if you want to highlight a key stat, shots per game, 25 for Humber, just 5.2 for the Huskies. I was mentioning before, Felipe Valela, big key striker for the Huskies. Right behind him, Shaquille Agar only has two goals, so it shows that if Humber can stop Vilela, they should have a lot of success tonight. And we'll be right back with you following the national anthems. We see both teams lined up here. Players will shake hands, and we're about to get things going. OCAA Men's Soccer here on the Hawks Sports Network. Kyle, you mentioned Felipe Villela. He netted a hat trick on Sunday against Cambrian. And you got to think that top goal scorer for the Huskies is probably coming in with a hot leg. Yeah, he's definitely the key for the Husky success. He's scored at least two goals in every single game this year. Has nine for the season. So he's definitely a dangerous player to watch out for. Jordan Sodi, he started in all five matches for the Huskies. Allowed just five goals. Looks like in net today for Hummer, we're going to have Nick Frenati, who was outstanding a couple a couple weeks ago here at the Ontario Soccer Center against the Eagles. UTM. And Kyle, interesting uh, note and a very high power addition to the Humber offense. Federico Leal starting to get his scoring going. Got two goals just last week. Yeah, it's good to see new players like Federico Leal contribute to the team. 
Umber is obviously led by star striker, star striker Luca Baldessere. Get a good look at the Humber team huddle. You wonder what kind of start they can get off to here. Yeah, Humber has only scored five goals in the first half this season compared to 14 in the second half of games. So it's important for them to get off to good starts. Yeah, those kind of slow starts can give the opposing teams a lot of hope going into the second half. We saw here at home against the UTM Eagles going into the half at a 1-1 tie. Really makes it a lot tougher on your team to come out and assert yourself in the second. So we'll see what kind of start we get from Humber here. All the usual suspects. It's Baldessari. going Cody Green on the near side of the field I think a good way to close things off Hummer back the other way Razo going down there, right in front of the box. Big clear attempt by George Brown. Trying to find Valela there. Number nine on the Huskies. Valela, a second year player and definitely somebody the Hawks are gonna have to keep an eye on. He doesn't miss many opportunities once he gets his chance to score. He usually strikes. Cody Green advances the ball. That's taken away by George Brown. Here they come, foot race. I don't know if Cody Green's gonna win this one. And Green's gonna get carded here on the foul early on. Yeah, Zuhaib Muhammad had the jump. Maybe not a bad decision by Green to slow things down. You definitely don't wanna give the Huskies a big chance like that here in the first couple of minutes. That'll be an early opportunity right now for the Huskies. Shaquille Agard has two goals on the season. He'll take the free kick, most likely looking for Valela here. See Nick Frenati directing traffic. So just about 10 feet outside the box. Early opportunity right now for the Huskies. Agard gonna take a crack at it. You see George Brown bunched up. Good stop by Fernati. An opportunity early there. Hawks able to escape it. And the mouse on the field. Up the other way comes Humber. Leal gets it back to his defensive unit. Janiel. Trying to find some space, good speed with Husky defender all over him. Back to Green, good footwork. Offside, offside call. Clearing attempt there. There's Michael Fahoon. Captain on that defensive side. Fahoon holding it down defensively. Humber trying to regroup here. You got Cody Green on the wing. And he'll take that pass. Tried to work the give and go. Nothing there. Humber held up at half. Great pass. Humber makes their way up the left side. Nice shot. Great job putting the ball in the offensive area. 
George Brown clears it. It's going to be Humber inbounding the ball. Be Ferrazzo with a throw in. Here's the ball now. Scrappy defense here from George Brown. It's been a tight game so far. Not a lot of room out there for both sides. George Brown did open the game with that big rush down the side. Cody Green had to trip his man up. See if we see any more explosiveness from the Huskies. Get a good chance here. Muhammad lobs it up. Humber defense trying to get a handle on it. See that Huskies offense right around Vilela looking for him inside the box. Could have a man here. Be a foul there against Follett. Good pace of this game to start it off. Humber coming into today's game with only seven shots against. Big strength of this Humber men's soccer team has always been the defense, and we hope to see that same thing here today against a dynamic player like Felipe. Opportunity for Mohammed. Bernadi with the save. Kyle, the wind has died down a bit here at the Ontario Soccer Center. Cause for a bit more balls in the air. The women's game, the ball was sort of dying in the air. Not allowing a lot of crosses in. Might be a, bit, a different story here in this game. Yeah, very strong wind coming in from the west. The Hawks, just good ball movement on the perimeter. Good move by Cody Green with Huskies all over him. He'll get a whistle. That'll be for Tim Mohammed, a foul on Green. Badunas. He's going to tee this thing up. Just going to play it softly over to Green. There, Badunas with a monster kick. Great job by the Husky keeper. Isaiah Reed was right in there. Looking for that ball off the kick in there. Yeah, the keeper just got his hands on it. And George Brown comes back quickly the other way. Cody with it on the sideline. Good pass in the middle. There's Machado. Big cross attempt. Initially mishandled by Sodi. But the Huskies now have possession. There's Muhammad. Green, nice play. Almost intercepted it. Gonna be a Huskies throw in here. Machkovich, throw this in. Kyle, you get the impression this could be a bit of a defensive affair. George Brown not one to let many goals by them. Fourth inning. In Humber men's baseball, they're leading George Brown 8 0. Busy week for Hawk Sports. George Brown will be at Connorville Park next Friday as the Hawks will host them. We're home and away. The 
right now in this soccer matchup, very tightly contested. Like you said, very tightly contested. One small mistake could cost the team the game. You're looking at two teams with rock solid defensive core and outstanding goalkeeping. Both teams as a combination have only given up eight goals. Just shows how locked in these teams are on the defensive side of the ball. We just saw nine in the girls game before. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna get that same kind of Doesn't look like it, no. offensive explosion. Different style here. It's Cody Green is gonna inbound the ball. George Brown, quick on the attack. They've got bodies, but great job there. It's the Hawks defense really piling up against Vilela, trying to get open on the far left side. Hubbard now with the ball, advancing their way past half. No call. Ref saying he got the ball first. And that looked and like. now will be a foul against the Hawks. Yeah, a bit of a jersey pull. Maybe a bit of a frustration play after the no call. Official's going to have a word here with Osman Hussein. Hussein not liking that call. Be off green out of bounds for a Huskies throwing. Humbers had the majority of the ball control in Husky territory. Right from the outset, George Brown had a couple of chances, but it's been all Humber. The Hawks still looking for their first major scoring chance of the game. Here's Green on the far right side. Handball being called for by the Hawks. George Brown scrambling on defense here. Oh, Green is just sandwich. See number six, Badunas taking the free kick to Hussein. Great pass there. Barrazo trying to make something happen here. Just bring it back to Fehun. Cody puts it deep. Not much space. Corner kick coming up for Humbert. Smart play there by Hoylet. Couldn't get anything going. Two defenders on him. Just hit it off the defender. Get your team a corner kick. That's what he did. An opportunity here for the Hawks. See what Janiel Hoylet can pull off from the corner with the wind kicking into the wind. Keeps it low. Chance there for Hussein. Another corner coming up. Good defense there by the Huskies blocking that ball. No chance for Hussein to get that anywhere near the goalkeeper. Good idea for Hoylet to kind of keep that kick low, a line drive. The wind can't really affect it as much. We'll see if he tries something different here. A bit higher this time. Long clearing kick. Sodi coming out on that one, goalkeeper for the Huskies. Now Mohamed. Oh, big break here. Valela just offside. That's a tough break for the Huskies. Valela's all alone like that. He doesn't miss much. And what a one-on-one -on -one battle that would have been. Felipe against Frenati. Humber is quick transition, shot on net. Already a high-paced game so far. 
here in the 15th minute. A lot of actions at both sides of the ball. We'll have to wait and see what it's going to take to get some Humber offense. It's great ball control, just can't really crack the code of this Husky defense. Ball in the middle of the field. Humber defense just kind of spreading it out. Big clearing kick to the corner over to Cody Green. Miscue by the Huskies, puts it back in Green's hands. Good, good opportunity there for Baldessari. The Huskies defense with a bit of a miscommunication with two defenders there. Allows the Hawks, Cody Green with a nice pass in. Baldessari just missed that, good stop by the keeper. Humber head coach Michael Aquino has gotten a lot of mileage out of Baldessari. Six goals on the season. If you want to look back to last year, put in nine. Good pace this year for on pace to hit those double digits. Good Green. move by Cody. Yeah, look at him splitting the defenders. Gonna put that one up. Baldessari's gonna try to retrieve that on the other side of the field now. By Ferrazzo there, blocked in front by the Huskies defender. Oh, just past Nicholas Machado there. Heck of a pass there by Oilet. Split the defenders just out of the reach of Hussein. Good corner kick. We'll see if Hussein takes it or maybe Hoylet. No, he'll just take a little tap pass. Good cross attempt, but that ball bounces out. Outside of the box, Humber's trying to reset Hussein. Huskies almost got away there. Good play there by Cody Green. Kyle Humber has just had so much time of possession on the attack here. Yeah, they have. They're really pushing the ball, really pushing the defenders of the Huskies that they can keep that going, not allow Valela, the offensive striker for the Huskies, to get anything going. They'll have a lot of su success here. Then keep the ball on the other side of the, of the pitch. That offense really relies around Valela. When he struggles, that offense usually struggles as well. Here's Agard. Oh, that move. was a nice move there by Agard. Good contact. We have a player down. That's number 12, Osman Hussein. Looks like he ran into Agard there. Shaquille Agard, second on the team in goals with two. Here comes George Brown. There's Felipe with a good pass. Lots of Hawk defenders in the area. I have a player down. Looks like the action's going to continue. That's Shaquille Agard down there, but an opportunity. That was Jacob Yankee. An opportunity there for the Huskies.
Machado. Big clearing kick. Humber defense gonna have to act quick here. Here's Valela. There's Hussein. Looks like he might have really hurt his ankle there. Looks like he ran into the foot of Valela there when he's trying to clear it. Yeah, and he was on the turf just moments ago, so kind of favoring that right leg. We'll keep an eye on that. A little frustration there by Hussein. Might see a card. Looks like nothing. An opportunity here for the Huskies. The Hawks defenders are really pressuring Felipe Valela. They know how dangerous he could be. Looks like Shaquille Agard will take this free kick. Booming kick handled cleanly by Frenati. Cody Green gonna try and push this ball up. Hoylet hangs on to it. Back to Cody Green in the corner. Be offside there, Cody just ahead. Cody Green is really all over the field. He receives the pass from Frenati, and you blink your eyes and he's in the deep corner of the Husky territory. Quick throw in there by Muhammad. Looks like it'll be Hummer ball. The right call. George Brown not happy. Hoylet charging the other way. Baldessari trying to get ahead of it. Gets it way. Good tip past the Husky defender. And that's right in the net. That was a risky play by goalkeeper Saudi to come out on that one. And Baldessari makes no mistake. Luca Baldessari makes no mistake. Strikes his seventh of the season. Quick play in transition. The Huskies were arguing the out of bounds call. Before you know it, Hummer's just stretching the play. Get another look at it here. And yeah, you mentioned the, the Huskies were complaining about a missed call here. It looked like it went off Humber, but it went Humber's way. Had to disagree with you, Kyle. I think that went off I the Husky know. player. So all in all, the Hawks take advantage of it. Baldessari with the early goal, it's one nothing. In any event, that's right, the Hawks jump out to an early lead with 22 minutes in. And Kyle, even without that goal, you can't charge Humber with a slow start here. They've been all over the field, really good possession. Hussein there with the yellow card, but it's a great point. They've been all over George Brown, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Really getting a lot, most of the chances throughout the game so far. A lot of time left though for George Brown to get things going. See how the Hawks defense bounces back here. Yeah, for Humber to allow an equalizer here would really interfere with the momentum they've built up. We're gonna see if they can add on. Humber getting their second yellow card of the game. Cody Green got one earlier and Hussein now with one. So give Luca seven goals on the season in just his fifth game. Outstanding. OCAA soccer as the sun sets here at the Ontario Soccer Center. Twenty-five minutes in this game, and it's 
Already been a nice fast paced type of match here. George Brown with possession. Good steal by Hoyland. Ball to side, just offside. Yes, boots that one. On the pass by Hoylett. Just pickpocketed the Husky player. Goalkeeper Saudi will take a free kick. Looking midfield. Finds me Jakovic, captain. Oh, and a header attempt, beautiful goal. Set up by Robert Mijakovic. Great pass, and we talked about it earlier, the threat of Vilela. If you give him any space inside the box, he's gonna convert. And George Brown takes advantage of that. Vilela, his 10th of the season, already in double digits. And this would be one a one. dandy of a replay. Let's take another look. Great play here. There's the equalizing goal. Just a big clearing attempt headed top left corner. See Michael Fehu in there just lost track of where Vallela was. You see here. Yep, a dynamic offensive threat. Vallela, when he gets an opportunity like that, he makes no mistake. His 10th of the season. Just like that, it's 1-1. Things are all knotted up at one. Here's Cody Green with the ball deep. Good move. Humber. Hawks bench looking for a handball, no call. Kyle looking like it's gonna be a great match here. Already a great start. Some razzle-dazzle from both teams. A couple nice goals early on by a couple of the star strikers on both teams. Now, how does Humber answer after the goal from George Brown? Mohamed. Djokovic there. Made that great pass on the Vallela goal. There's Badunez on Felipe. Humber working the ball deep. You get the sense George Brown has been energized by that goal. They've really tightened up defensively. Humber's so, having a tough time. Maybe a handball there, no call. Saw that celebration on the Vallejo goal. A lot of energy now out of the Huskies. And it's showing, especially on the defensive side of the ball as well. Yeah, there was never any question they were going to try to ride number nine to victory. And to get him going early in this game, that's got to be encouraging if you're a Huskies fan. Early complaints look like a soft call there. Badunas having a word with the official. As we have a man down here, looks like Muhammad. For the Huskies. Have some words being exchanged between the Huskies bench and the official. So we'll have a hold up in play while the injured player is being tended to. Well, he did exchange there with the side official and head coach John Williams.
Kyle, it's a big couple of minutes coming up in this game. Because all the momentum is in George Brown's favor right now. They've kind of nullified some of that Humber pressure. John Williams, head coach, still going at it with the official. Might have to get the substitution warmed up. Looks like number 10, Mohammed, is going to go off to the sidelines right now, walk it off. Yeah, I think it's important if you're down for that long, you, you should have to come out. He's going to wait for the official to let him back into the game. Deep clearing shot. Corner kick coming up for the Huskies. Muhammad check, checks back in. I see he'll go right to the box. Good chance down low for the Huskies. I went off the official, allows the ball to stay in. Very intense matchup. A lot of energy here from both benches. Things are just kind of ramping up here. It's going to make for a heck of a contest. Huskies ball. A lot of intensity, like you said, on both sides. It's a big game, two and three in the standings. George Brown right behind Humber. Humber trying to create a bit more space. George Brown regrouping. Humber's gonna have to find its mojo the way they opened this game. Because right now it's all George Brown, Humber with the ball deep. Good tip there. Oh, Piccinini there, an opportunity in front. Just goes past him. Valela. Humber regrouping down low. It's lit. Pinchnini over to Machado. There is Cody Green. Good pressure there. That'll be Huskies ball. Shaquille Agard with some pretty aggressive defense, got the trick done. Just a swarm of Huskies defenders. Great move there by Agard. Absolutely, here comes the other way. It's gonna go for a goal kick. Go Fahey and tracking that one down. Pace of the game kind of slowing down here. Both teams have fully acclimated to the kind of match they're in. Cody Green calling for it here on the right sideline. And George Brown did a great job responding to that goal from the Hawks. It's Verrazzo creating out of bounds throw in for the Hawks.
Humber trying to work it down low. George Brown defense not making it easy. Turned over. So the goal scorer, Valela. Gets past Cody. Good move. Hopefully Cody has help down low. Ooh, nice move by Valela. Great Co defensive play there by Green. Absolutely. See him slam the ground there. That's some frustration letting Valela go by him. Good job by him to rebound. Block that pass. Two players exchange a handshake, some mutual respect there. That's going to be a tough assignment, though, for all the Humber defense. Good cross kick. It's going to go the other way. Hawks ball. George Brown with a laser beam across the field. Comes Humber the other way. Hoylet gets taken down. All tied up at 1-1. One, one. Men's soccer on the Hawks Sports Network. Job there by Ferrazzo to keep that ball in. Finds Machado. All kinds of action on the inside. Humber not able to break away with a chance. George Brown attempting to get something going. That pass is a little too far out of reach. There's Cody Green now on the right side. Advances the ball up the field. Humber with it. In the corner, two Huskies defenders are on the case. Summer just plays it out. There's Ferrazzo. Deep kick is going to pin this ball down in the left corner, Husky territory. Piccinini loses that ball. It'll be a goal kick for the Huskies here in the 38th minute. Still tied up at one, both goals by the star strikers from both teams, Baldessari and Valela for the Huskies. Yeah, in a game with such a tightly contested defensive battle, it's really going to be those all-star scorers that are going to make the difference. Baldessari with a header there. Him and Hoylet are going to chase this ball down. Humber gets possession. Cody Green. Pass is intercepted. Humber trying to slow things down and get possession. Green is just going to reset. Humber makes their way down into the corner. Interesting move by Kale Rodney on defense. Big cross attempt there. Huskies are going to regroup. Lots of space here on the left side of the field. Zygaard trying to make a move up the middle here. Things kind of get slowed down. It's Valela on the far right side with the ball now. And watch out. Lots of Humber Hawks getting back on defense. The Hawks seem to be putting two men right on Valela as soon as he gets the ball. Play there by Fei Hyun. Yeah, you get the sense that Humber has to sacrifice a bit of offensive pressure in favor of bringing back so many guys to pressure that big star. Yeah, Spy Valela. 
with that goal tonight. He's at double digits with 10 already in this game. Looks like we're going to get a Husky sub here. Looks like Honest Muhammad is going to come into the game for the Huskies. Not sure he's going to be checking out. Aeneas from North York. John Williams, head coach of the Browns, calling his players over for a quick word with this timeout with the player on the ground for the Huskies. The trainer out there. Huskies have their own team meeting near center. With just five minutes left here in the first half, plus change, I'm sure there's definitely going to be a significant amount of injury time. Felipe Valela having a chat with the side official about the first goal. Humber trying to figure out what they have to do to get back in the driver's seat here. Really been a 50-50 game. Granted, Humber has the ball much more often in the Husky zone. Those uh, Husky chances, when they arise, are pretty dangerous. So honest. Muhammad will come into the game for Jacob Yankee. Like you said, there should be a, a bit of time added on. Could see two minutes possibly. All right, we're back. Humber going to want to finish on a good note here, or else he might have to file this one down in one of their less than desirable first half efforts. see how head coach Michael Aquino decides to shake things up at halftime. Be interesting to see what subs he might bring in into the second half of this game. Maybe get a different look for the Huskies. Djakovic, the ball trying to find Agard. Here's Vilela. And that gets past the keeper. And then it's Honest Mohammed who just came in the game on a beautiful pass by Vilela. Hawks looking for the offside call. He didn't get it. And you can see the celebration for the Huskies right now. They know how big that goal was with minutes remaining here in the first half. Yeah, that's a backbreaker. Get you another see the look. Replay. Look at this pass, great pass there by Valela. Getting it done. Honest Muhammad just coming into the game. The Hawks looking for that offside call, didn't get it. That allowed Muhammad to finish the goal. And gets the ball past Frenati. Hawks are going to have to regroup here. Hawks coming into this game only giving up five goals. I've already given up two here in the first half. And, you know, as build, it's that offensive prowess of number nine. Villela just came in here hot and scores a goal and then sets up that beautiful pass. Attempt we just saw there. And they're looking for more here. Vallela, an opportunity. He's going to hit that. Uh-oh. Fernandi gets the initial save. Big rebound and an opportunity there for Vallela to get his second of the game. Looks like it's four minutes of added time. 
but you can just see right there the threat that Valela gives against the Hawks. George Brown with the throw in. That was a big save too by Fernati. After allowing that goal to come back and make a big save there. Yeah, very big save here late in the first half. You don't want to give up back-to-back -back goals like that minutes apart. In all likelihood, Humber is going to be coming from behind in the second half. Just hoping that one goal deficit is as bad as it gets. Corner kick. Booming kick. Huskies with time. Good movement here by George Brown. Great play there by Igar. Muhammad. Humber trying to shut things down. Cody Green is going to give up the corner kick attempt. Good defense there by Cody Green. Shaquille Igar will take this corner kick for the for the Huskies. Last few minutes, the Humber defender is just mauled in the corner. It's Mohammed takes a crack at it. Looks like Humber's going to be able to push back. Humber now with possession. Looking to even things up. Not much time to work with here, Kyle. Looks like just under two minutes remaining. Got four minutes out of time. See if, the, see if the Hawks can get something going here before the end of the first half. Looks like Hussein. Hussein and Valela having a few words. Yeah, some words being exchanged. Needed exchange. Ref having a, a word with the two guys. Yeah, lots of chit chat. Just want to see more of that. So a little bit of a therapy session out center. Hussein having a word now with Fehun. Fehun trying to calm him down. It's good. Lots of intensity. Just going to have to harness that in the right direction. Free kick for Humber. Going to pin this ball deep. It's a good point. You want to use it to your advantage. Use that energy in the right way. Both teams are totally into this match. Lots of intensity. Close attempt there. Fernandi's able to sneak up and get his hands on that one. Whistle blown. Looks like this might be the last possession of the first half here. Just hold it like him bounce off the ball. George Brown now making their way up. There's a, I guard gets run into. Michael Fahey and I guard colliding there. Got to be less than a minute left here. Probably be after this kick. Might see the whistle. Oh. 
Well, Kyle, that'll do it for the first half action. We're looking at a score of 2-1 in favor of the visiting Huskies. Kyle Humber started out gangbusters there. Got the first goal, and then after that, it's looking like George Brown really bounced back. Yeah, George Brown did a good job bouncing back after that first goal. It all starts with their star, Felipe Valela, scoring that opening goal and then setting up the second goal. And both teams will go into the building for halftime, try to warm up here. Cool night at Ontario Soccer Center. But I imagine the uh, same level of intensity is going to come back out here when we get going. Saw both star players for both teams, Felipe Valela and Baldessari, both making good impacts for both teams. We'll be right back with you for the second half, Huskies versus Hawks on the Hawks Sports Network.
Welcome back to HSN. Second half action about to get going here. I'm Matt Hamill. With me is Kyle Dalton. Get a good look at the stats from the first half. Pretty even on the board here for both sides. Yeah, no doubt, of course. Humber opened up the scoring. Baldessari with a neat little tip in. Felipe Vilela came back with that soaring header. And then he set up his teammate, Aeneas Muhammad, and that gave George Brown the go-ahead. Humber started out strong in that first half, and George Brown really showed some fight. Lots of intensity should make for a great second half. Watch for Humber to push the offense early, see if they can get the tying goal early. As for the Huskies, it'll be interesting to see if they try to hold back against Humber or if they try to push this lead. We'll see what mentality they have going here to the second half. Yeah, you heard the Humber coaching staff saying to their players, you just can't get outworked this half. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the Huskies' mentality for this half is. Humber coming from behind under the lights here at the Ontario Soccer Center. George Brown with the ball to start the half. Back to Fernati. Got to watch out. Ball is kicked down into the corner. Looks like we have some room. Big cross attempt. Hummer's going to retain possession. Might have a corner kick. It's number 22, Alex Bias, coming into the game here in the second half. It's going to be out on Humber. Goal kick. Coming up here from Sodi. George Brown's clearing attempt is interfered with by Humber. Hawks are looking to establish possession. Fourteen Julian Mullen also coming into the game for the Hawks. There's Hoylett putting on some pressure. Mistake there by the George Brown defender putting that out of bounds. There's Mullen to Hoylett. Hummer with the ball down low. 22 Alex Baez with a chance in front blocked by the Huskies defender. Mullen. Good footwork, trying to find some space, taken away. Great play there by Valela, the star striker, playing some defense, making a nice play. Ball kicked back to Fernati. Pretty fast paced here, Kyle, to start out the second half. Hawks with a lot of energy right now, trying to find the equalizer. Humber rekindling a bit of that energy we saw at the beginning of the first half. Just kind of moving things along here. Working the ball deep into Husky territory. Good ball movement. Just two shots on net in the first half. There's a header attempt. Just wide, received by Hoylett. Good shot on net. Machado, the good shot. Yeah, excellent. Attempt and Sodi just kind of keeps that out of the bottom left corner. He's going to put the ball in play. Deep goal kick. There's Mullen. Mullen back with the ball now. Great ball movement, Humber. Looking like they're up to answering the bell here, coming back from behind. With a lot of time to play. Good attempt Chance. there. How about that, Kyle? And a it's great, Badunas. A tremendous pass up the middle. Quick release by Badunas. What an excellent goal that was. Let's take another look here as Humber celebrates on their feet. So just past half, 
a tremendous drop. Quick release, top shelf to energize this Hawks team. Everything tied up. Batter not started that play and then joined the rush. Not Finishes it off, yeah. Oof, wow. Just under the crossbar. Perfectly placed shot. And like we talked about, the early goal for the Hawks to get the equalizer. You see the boys in, in white pretty hopped up. They know how big that early goal was to get that back. They know that late goal back in the first half by Muhammad really cost them to get that goal back early on here in the second. It's a Huskies. huge bonus. Huskies looking a little deflated after that shot. Uh, Huskies, Huskies with possession here. Yeah, the Huskies are going to have to put on the pressure here. An opportunity right now for Muhammad. He scored their second goal. Great defense there, just cutting off the angle. And that whistles by for Natty a couple feet wide. Great pressure already by the Hawks to start this second half. Rewards and a goal. Humbert moving things up. Riding a wave right now. Going to try to add on to their total. Maybe grab a lead here. No offside call and a good chance. Looks yeah, like the whistle will come now. Looked like a late offside call. Baldessari is down behind the goal. The ref letting the play go on. Baldessari's off the field of play. Definitely Hawks fans have to be worried. So George Brown elects to kill the pace of play while Baldessari gets looked at. Looks like the right ankle of Baldessari. We have a player checking in for Humber. Calls for concern. We'll keep you updated on whatever we find out about the situation down. Still down over there on the Husky goal line. Looks like it's a leg issue over there. Good ball movement. Humber on the outside. Hoylett making his way in. Good cross. Taken away by the Husky defender. Out of bounds, Husky's ball. See Baldessari being helped off. Yeah, that is not, the Hawks bench. Doesn't look good there. Not a good sign. Not putting any weight on that right leg. All tied up, 2-2. Two, two. 52 minutes passed here. That's a huge blow for the Hawks. Losing their star striker. You know, regardless of the standings, Kyle, you get the impression both teams really want this win. Lots of sideline intensity here. Yeah, both teams are high intensity teams. And even with the standings, George Brown right behind Humber looking to close that gap. The Huskies know how big this game is. And the depth of the Hawks right now is going to have to show here with the loss of Baldessari. Doesn't look like he'll be coming back into the game. The Hawks will need a few guys now to step up in order to secure the three points. Deep clearing kick. 
George Brown with some pressure. Physical battle here by the sideline. Mullen gets taken down there by Igard. Down low. Hummer with the ball out with the weak shot, easy save. You have to think the next goal right now is good. Probably going to be the decider. Very well could be, although I'm liking what I see from the Hawks. Lots of shots on net. Only able to muster two, regardless of how uh, threatening they were, only able to muster two in the first half. So things have really opened up right now for Humber. Let's see if they can strike while the iron's hot. George Brown really hasn't got anything going offensively here in the second half so far. Hawks doing a good job keeping that ball against the defense of the Huskies. Now opportunity now for Muhammad. Cleared out of the way by the Humber defense, although the Huskies retain possession. Try to set things up from the outside. Humber gonna have to tighten up here. Ball rolls out to half, Huskies. Oh, strong play there by the Husky forward. What a move that was there by Igard. The George Brown fans reacting to that one. Even the fans are getting into this the one. George Brown fans. You said get into that one. All right. Both teams fired up. It's a cold night, but lots of juice. Looks like they were yelling there at a Carciolo. Free kick coming up for George Brown. Got to keep an eye on number nine. Felipe Valila. Out of bounds. Humber will get the throw in. Referee gives a warning to the George Brown bench. Humber trying to find some space. That pass is picked off. It's Mohammed now with some room. Turned over to Cody Green. Just shy of the 58th minute mark. Humber comes out in the second half, ties things up early. We're resetting here. There's Nicholas Machado. Humber coughs it up. Trying to set up Felipe. Fernandi's going to kick that one out. Almost got into the feet of Valela. Tough call there. It's going to go to George Brown. Fernandi poised in net, hoping to 
limit these Husky goals to the two that have occurred thus far. Well, miscommunication there with the George Brown defenders. Well, friendly fire. No friendly fire. Almost went the Hawks' way. Serrazzo now. Kyle, the past few minutes has been very uh, much in George Brown's favor. Lots of possession time, good ball movement. Also seems like both teams are just waiting for that one opportunity to really take advantage of and get this 3-2 lead. Could be here now with Hoyland. Hawks without Luca Baldessari. Also missing Federico Leal tonight. No Leal in the lineup. Two of the top goal scorers now out of the game. Deep kick. Heading attempt is just over the net. Great pass there by Cody Green. Great ball through. Pinchnini. With the header just over the net. Yeah, Jordan Piccinini puts it a few feet over the crossbar. That looked good there when it was in the air. Great pass there by Cody Green. Machado the giveaway to Muhammad. Now Machado's working hard to get back, make up for his mistake. George Brown with the ball deep. Oh boy, what a battle in the corner. Cody Green's gonna get called for the takedown of Muhammad down there, number 10. Looked like both parties might have been a bit guilty. Yeah, it could have gone either way on that one. Huskies getting the benefit of the doubt. An opportunity here for the Huskies on a free kick here. Booming kick. Good play by the Hummer defense. It's going to be offside. That ball just went right past Valela on the header. Huskies caught offside. There's Mullen now. Humber moving things up. Great pass. Offside, offside call. Yep, offside Hus for the Hawks. Huskies ball. There's that was Caracciolo with the great pass there. Piccinini was caught just offside. No update on Baldessari. Can't imagine him coming back in this game. Still a couple weeks left in the season before the playoffs roll around. That's when you really want to get him at 100, back to 100%. There's Michael Fahun. And it's Muhammad, the goal scorer, lost that ball out of bounds. Humber threatening. Looks like they're going to have a hard time with all these Husky defenders in the area. Down low now. It's Carciolo. Huskies trying to clear it out. Great Humber. play there by Fahun. Yeah, keeping the pressure on. Easily handled by the Husky keeper. Mullen frustrated on that. Knows he could have done a lot better. Just over 60 minutes passed in this game. A 
Lots of time to work with. That cross attempt is cleared out. We'll have a corner kick. And on a corner kick like this, that's when you like to see Federico Leal. Saw him do some damage against the UTM Eagles. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be Janiel Oilen taking this corner kick for the Hawks. Everyone's coming up, big tall Michael Fahun even up as well. Be short pass to Machado. Good work by Hoylet to get in deep. Oh, the one touch. Humber is desperately off the side post. Just a mad scramble right now in Husky territory. That was Ferrazzo there off the post. You can see him running back now on defense. Good opportunity for the Hawks. Yeah, that was a huge opportunity, not converted. Fahun gets bumped into the head. Collision there with Lankara. Great attempt, now. That was a great opportunity for the Hawks. A little bit of back and forth here. Looks like the player's okay. Anais Muhammad had a pretty productive game for the Huskies. Scoring the second goal, the, the leading goal, which was for the Huskies. 2-2 will now check in for the Huskies, number 18. Humber with a big boot on net. That's a good save there. Great save there by Saudi, diving across to make a key stop for George Brown, keeping them at a locked score, 2-2. Humber with a defensive miscue. Looks like all is well. Carciolo. Humber, odd man rush. Looks like the Huskies are just gonna clear it out. Get out of danger there, it'll be a Hawks throw in. A lot of momentum for the Hawks right now. Let's see if they can cash in something. Seems like it's going to come right down to the wire. Should be a great finish. We're locked up at two on Hawks Sports Network. Something's got to give. Humber has had a few chances here lately. You'd have to think both teams would be disappointed in a draw. Both teams came here for the three points. That George Brown offense has been pretty quiet. Felipe Belela. Yeah, the Hawks have done a great job containing him here in the second half. He got a bit of success in the first half, but really nothing going for him so far here in the second. Big cross attempt. Humber trying to find some space. That was that Badunas shot. there. Just wide of the goal. Referee is going to call aside Shaquille Agard. Looks like he got called for the foul earlier. It was a play on. Ref one, have a quick word with him.
Here's Mullen. Carciolo. Yeah, nobody home. The through ball, like you said, nobody there. Anxious for a goal right now. Both teams looking for the tiebreaker to make it 3 2. Bit of a back and forth here. Good, Good play. Yeah. yeah. Mullen scoops the ball up. Mullen's got the Hawks going the other way. Big clear attempt right into the hands. Saudi there. Of Saudi. Muhammad. Threatening, got to keep an eye on Felipe. And it's gonna be a penalty kick. Oh boy, right as soon as he got into the box. It looked like that was Ferrazzo who tripped him up. And you can hear the fans of George Brown cheer and that bench get fired up. They know this is a huge opportunity in this game. You can see here the replay. See it, yeah, right in the top. Yeah, got his feet, tripped him up. Easy call for the official. Get a good view of it here. With a sprinkle of theatrics. And Ferrazzo knows it right away. A golden opportunity right now for the Huskies. I'm very surprised that Valela isn't taking this. I know he wasn't the one that went down. But when you have your double-digit goal scorer with an opportunity, you think he would go in instead of it's going to be Shaquille Agard. Huge play. Can Nick Frenati make a big stop? No, he hesitates, and that ball is put home. Shaquille Agard is going to give the Huskies the go-ahead goal. Lots of time for the Humber Hawks. At least that's what the coaching staff is preaching here. Yep, you can see there, Fernandi just guesses the wrong way. And when it comes to penalty kick, you only really have one way to go. If you guess the wrong way, you're, you're caught in no man's land. Nothing much Fernandi could do there. The Hawks are going to have to try to find another equalizer here, tie this game up at three, just under 20 minutes to go. It's a tough break for the Hawks. They had a lot of energy coming out of that first half, really dominated that start of the second half and throughout the second half up till now. Yeah, and if you think of the offensive pressure we've seen from Huskies this half, it's almost been non-existent. And then out of the blue, penalty kick, yep. go-ahead goal. The Hawks have done a great job shutting down Valela, the star striker for the Huskies in the second half. But it's the other guy stepping up, Shaquille Agard. Anis Muhammad stepping up for the Huskies. Hawks with an opportunity here on the corner kick. Corner kick. Big attempt. Wow, what a save. Great job by Saudi. Come up there, just grab that ball. Saudi just got his hands on that one. Now the Huskies are coming back the other way. Out of bounds, it's going to be awarded to Humber. Humber does not want their undefeated season to go away. It's in jeopardy here right now, down one goal. Yeah, they haven't lost an OCAA regular season match since September 14th, 2013. Like you said, it's in jeopardy here.
turned over. Huskies charging back. Have a Humber player down. That's Ferrazzo. George Brown fans getting into his head there. Ferrazzo on the ground. Now he's back up with the ball. Hoylet. Might be on him to lead this Humber team to a crucial tying goal. A yellow card issued here. Can't tell who's down there. Yeah, it looks like he's holding that right leg. Looks like that might be Ferrazzo. And the Huskies haven't beaten the Hawks since 1996. They've only beaten the Hawks twice in their career program. So this could be a huge win for the Huskies if they can upset the Hawks here. And like we said earlier, end their streak of consecutive regular season wins. Ferrazzo is back on his feet. Humber making the charge back towards the Husky net. Good look on the inside. Humber's going to spread it out. Offside call. Yeah, Machado. It's offside. Good pass there by Bad Bad Badunas. Machado just offside there. Missed opportunity for the Hawks. Just under 15 minutes to go. Should expect a few minutes of stoppage time as well. Big boot. Do or die. Humber with the ball at half. Trying to find some open space. Hawks looking for a call, they didn't get anything. Corner kick for Humber. Ferrazzo. Some good defense. Nice over the top shot by George Brown. Two on one. Offside call. Be a foul the other way. A lot of commotion going on right now on both sides. It's a tough game for these officials to manage. Very high intensity game. Both benches getting into it. A lot of discontentment on the sides of the competitors. Here we go, Hoylet gets taken down. down. I don't think we're gonna see a card here. Things this is getting gonna be a chippy. Foul. Yeah, things are getting pretty chippy down here at the sidelines. Have a stoppage in play. See the conversation here on the Humber sideline. Looks like number 12 limping off for George Brown. Kale Rodney. Yeah, you can. A lot of emotions right now going through his mind. 
Hoylett has a free kick. About six feet outside of the box. So number 17 checking in. Vador Zainula. Getting his first look in this game. Hawks have to capitalize here. An opportunity. Hoylett taking the free kick. Oh, right oh. off the crossbar on a sweet header attempt. Looks like Nicholas Machado. Man, what an opportunity for the Hawks. Wow. And a great play there by Hoylett. And another bar for the Hawks. Nicholas Machado. Just 10 minutes to go. That close to tie in this game. Hawks put it on the pressure. The chances have been there. Hummer's gonna have to dig deep. There's Badu Nas, Michael Fahun. Sodi hanging on to her. Seems like George Brown is just trying to salvage this 3-2 win. Playing a bit more defensive now. Deep, Hoylet, he's got an edge. Chips it up, too much on it. Yeah, just gonna out of sail out of bounds. A pitch Nini there. Just under nine minutes left in regulation. About eight and a half minutes until we head into stoppage time. Seems like the George Brown attack has vanished here. They're just trying to salvage this 3-2 win. We didn't see much offensively from them other than that chance that ended in the penalty shot. George Brown ball. All in all, this has been an exciting soccer game to watch. A real barn burner. And does Humber have anything left? Can they dig deep and convert on one of these scoring chances? Because they've been there. It's tough to do without your two star strikers on the team and out of the lineup right now. Yeah, if Humber succeeds throughout the season, it's going to be a team effort. And let's see if they can prove that here. It'll be an opportunity now with the corner kick. Janiel Oilet will be taking this one. Another good opportunity, the last corner kick. Came with a good chance. See if the Hawks can generate something here. Hoylet elects to just tap it. Good move by Humber, keeping busy. Husky's able to create some separation, although Humber's gonna retain possession. Try to set back up here. Good attempt, Humber with an aggressive defensive play. And Valela, Felipe, Fernandi comes out. What a great save, an aggressive play and it pays off. Could Nick have been Frenati. a game saver there, Fernandi. Great save. Back the other way. Kind of surprised Valela didn't take that shot. Offside call. Delela looked like he had that opportunity to flip it over for Natty. Instead, he decided to pass it over. We saw Fernati with a nice aggressive play. Yeah, Fernati was playing pretty high. He had to scramble back. And if the 
Hawks come back to tie this game. We'll remember that save as the key for that. Free kick. Deep shot. Cody Green's going to try to get a handle on it. Hoil it. Deep kick. Foot race. Nice clearing shot. Hummer with it deep, but just can't get a handle on it. Mullen. Neat pass. Humber still with possession. That's offside. Looks like Bradley Fenton will be checking in for the Hawks for the next stoppage. A little bit more firepower at front here in the late stages of the game. George Brown with the ball deep in Hawk territory. Fernati is going to scoop that up. Mullen. And Fahun is going to advance the ball. There's Hoylet on the right side. Good move, taking the ball deep. Good clear there by the Huskies. Defense. I bring Valela. Fahun in pursuit. That's going to go against Valela. It'll be Hawks ball. Looks like substitution coming in. I'm not quite. Fourth year player. Bradley Fenton yeah, he waiting here on the sidelines. Two lines. goals on the air, looking to bring a bit more energy in the late stages of the game. Humber with a slip. Going to try to keep possession here. Three minutes to go here, plus stoppage time. The Huskies have the ball at about half. Time winding down for the Hawks, trailing by a single goal. Lots of chances here. Fernandi's going to play that up. Mullen. Carciolo. Good fight. Here Fernandi calling from the goal line. You got a fight. Let's see if the Hawks will answer. Bit of a breakout chance here. Star striker Valela. He's brought down. Right, good defense there by Ferrazzo. 88th minute. Valela still down. Time should be added for this. Bradley Fenton still waiting to check into this game. So the trainers will come out to check on Valela. Right. 
training staff for the Huskies are looking at their star striker. It's pinned down in the corner. High intensity game. You got to think a lot of players here must be exhausted. The gut check time. You know, you got to dig deep. Last few minutes. Riley Ferrazzo will check out for the Hawks. Bradley Fenton will check in. Fourth year player, Mississauga native, Bradley Fenton. Taking out a defender for a forward. Looking for a bit more scoring depth at the front here late in the game. Yeah, there's the chess match. Carciolo. Mullins' attempt is blocked, but he gets a handle on it. Corner kick. That's going to be a good opportunity right now for the Hawks. Or is this going to be a throw in? Throw in, no corner kick. Head coach. George Brown complaining here that there was no, the referee didn't know about the switch. Get a good look on the monitor here. Things on pause here. Hopefully cooler heads will prevail. Just waiting on things to Head be coach, cleared up. John Williams. He's now been ejected from been, the yep, game. He's been kicked out of this game. Still yelling. And Valela will check out of this game. As Jacob Yankee will come back bit more defense for the Huskies. We're not sure how much added time is added. Should be at least five minutes, you'd think. At least. Humber ball. Really a rapid pace, a bit of desperation. Humber with the inbounds. Humber Hawks looking to tie things up here. Big clearing attempt. Can they get under it? Carciolo with the pass through. Ball's just kind of bouncing on the outside. That'll be a goal kick for the Huskies. Looked like a bit of a push in the back of Caracciolo. Coming down to the wire this game. Great intensity on both sides. This would be a huge win for George Brown. Like we said, breaking the streak of the Hawks. Hawks looking to keep it alive here, trying to find a late goal. Foul call. Huskies moving slowly. We're in extra time here. They're taking their time.
Humber needs a quick turnover. Big clearing shot. I have to think there's at least a couple minutes left in this one. Here's Bradley Fenton. Whistle blown. Humber moving quickly, and we have a Husky on the turf. Looks like it's going to be a yellow card against the Huskies. Free kick award to the Hawks. Let's play ball. This might be the last possession of the game. Referee looking at his watch. Big kick. Hummer needs to get something on it. Lots of chances. Ball bouncing around here. Humber looks like they have possession. That's Hoylet. It's going to be a Humber throw in. Cody Green. And that foul is going to go on Cody Green. Bit of confusion. Looks like the play is dead. It's a great opportunity there for the Hawks to get one. Again, we're not sure how much time is left. But right now, it's not looking good for the Hawks. Good slide tackle. Humber desperately trying to get this ball. It's way deep in their territory. Fernadi. Humber with the ball on the Husky side of half. It's Caracciolo. Nice move. Huskies get a piece of that. Feyun. Now here's Hoylet. Benton with the shot, easy save for Saudi. Referee looking at his timer. Back to Fernati. Looks like that's gonna do it. Huskies are fired up. Big win for George Brown here. The Humber Hawks with a good second half effort. The Huskies just able to get that penalty shot attempt. Now that was the difference in the game for sure. That one opportunity for the Huskies. The Hawks definitely dominated that second half for sure, but came up a bit short, not able to get anything. Two teams exchange pleasantries here. But all in all, at the end of the day, the Hawks winning streak of 38 unbeaten games in the regular season comes to an end with the Huskies win 3-2 to two here tonight. Tough loss for the Humber Hawks at full time. Final score, 3-2. Humber Hawks drop a game at home. That's it for us on the Hawk Sports Network. Matt Hamill here with my broadcast partner, Kyle Dalton. See you next time.